Hi and welcome to this new video on basic robotic theory. So in this video uh, I'm going to introduce you to path planning. So path planning is basic uh, knowledge for navigation uh, which is nowadays one of the most used and prolific uh, disciplines in robotics because it's used not only for robots but also for autonomous uh, cars and drones and many other stuff. Uh, so if you want to learn uh, about this, uh, stay to get uh, a glimpse on uh, Octomap uh, generation. So uh, if you want to learn more about path planning and so on, I highly recommend you that you do the course. Uh, so uh, we have a course here, which is a, uh, motion planning of mobile robots and here uh, it's everything explained all the process from start to finish okay so in this video i'm going to show you just a, a tiny part which is one of the the key elements that you have to start with and then you you start what is path planning per se so let me just uh, explain so with this with, with this image. So here you see a map, okay? So uh, path planning basically is you you need a map, you need a, to generate a three-dimensional map if it's possible or at least two-dimensional. Uh, and then uh, path planning, what it does is with optimization algorithms, you map all the possibilities and all the paths that you could do to go from A to point A to point B. Uh, and then basically it optimizes the best route to get to the final destination. Uh, this is also used in, um, in video games. So video games, they have also path planning uh, for NPCs and, and basically characters that have to move around a three dimensional space without bumping into other um people or npcs and also not bumping into trees or walls and things like that so it's it's a discipline that it's used um, everywhere so the first thing that you need to do this path planning is to have a three-dimensional map why three-dimensional because you need the plane but also you need the obstacles the height of the obstacles to know if if you can go over them because path planning you can generate very complex path plans in a way that if it's very shallow or low the obstacle then you can go over it but others it's only two dimensions so let me show you how that is done so for that I'm going to minimize myself here. So for that, we are going to launch our beloved um, butter robot simulation. So let's launch it. And then what we are going to do is using the point cloud that the robot has. So let me. So using the point cloud, we are going to generate this uh, Octomap. So let's uh, start this Octomap server. Here you have the original uh, Git where you can get it and the, the people that did. So let me just start it. Okay, great. And then I'm going to also launch the keyboard teleop so that we can move our robot. So here, let me just put it bigger and just there you go so this that you're seeing is the octomap that our robot is generating an octomap is um, is simplifying reality into little boxes essentially that 
And you do that with the point cloud. So you say, okay, what's he seeing exactly? So if we go to our simulation, there we go. We got stuck there. Okay. So as you can see, it's seeing the, the butter in this case. So let's move the robot around and see what we can get. So let's put this here. Let's put this here and let's put the simulation around here. I'll put it there. Okay. Now I lower a bit the speed and let's move the robot around. There we go. As you can see, it's generating this, this three dimensional map. we go there we have the box very good another box and this is very useful for us especially because uh, it's a table that if you fall you you have to know if you're you, if you're going to fall so it's very useful for that also there we go so now let's see if we can generate the last box there we go so as you can see it's it's generating the map and this is the map that we will use to do all the optimization um, algorithms and do the path planning. There we go. More or less, you get the idea. There we go. So, once we have that, then we have the possibility of saving the map. So, let's get my notes and uh, let's go here and see if we have a map generated. Uh -huh. We uh, Octomap saved exactly, and we have one there. So to save it, you just have to execute this command while the Octomap is running. So there we go. Let's put uh, number two. Okay, so now it's requesting and it will take a while. And there you go. So now we have our uh, second map. So now we can close the, the Octomap. So there we go. So now we can close it. And in theory here, it, it can stay the Octomap, but I'll force it to just disappear because it stays on cache. So there we go. So now we don't have anything. And now I just have to launch this node that essentially publishes the Octomap there. So let's go here. Let's load the second one. And there you have it. So now we have our Octomap there running. And that's quite it. So how would we use this Octomap? How would we use it? So essentially the algorithms would then map the, the different paths that I could take and then optimize it in a way that there are no collisions. And that's basically it more complex than that and as as i said have a look at this course because it's it, it helped me to to understand how this works and it it will teach you everything you need to know about uh, motion planning 
And also just note that not only is for navigation, but also for uh, manipulation. So for example, move it generates an octomap uh, so that uh, you know if your robot arm is going to collide with the table or where is the um, the box or the object that it has to grasp. So it's used in many places. So I highly recommend you that you uh, check it out. And that's quite it. So thanks a lot for uh, your support. Give a like, subscribe. And if you like the video, leave a comment saying um, which topics we should uh, talk about next. Uh, and that's it. Thanks and see you in the next video. Peace.